orcas. Killer whales. The largest dolphins, one of the most intelligent animals alive. The apex predators of the seas no shark or whale would dare to mess with. Capable of memorizing faces, forming strong intricate bonds with other orcas, adapting new ways of hunting for prey, and passing their knowledge to the new generation. Humans. The most intelligent and dexterous species on the planet, debatably. The capacity for creativity, discovery, the planetary conquerors and colonizers, hairs of genocide- Alright, I can't do this anymore. You all get the gist, humans suck, we all know that. So ever since 2020, there has been a dramatic spike in a new behavior among orcas off the coast of Western Europe, attacking and sinking sailboats and yachts. They have learned to target rudders and rip them out, even the larger members of the pod ramming into the boats like some freaking military strategies. Skippers are panicking, memes are being generated, and everyone's tweeting about the crazy new war killer whales are waging on humans because they're sick of our shit and taking revenge on what we've done to the oceans. But is it even true? Are orcas really waging war on humanity? Are they taking revenge on us? And if so, for what specific reasons would they consider us the ops? Today I will be discussing the possibilities of what's happening regarding these magnificent animals, and why they would want to damage our boats, going from the likely to the less likely. Killer whales are some of the most remarkable species on the planet. They're big, they're powerful, they're beautiful, and they're smart as hell. Debatably within the same range as humans as they're part of the dolphin family, and dolphins are notoriously among the smartest creatures on the planet, forming deep and personal emotional bonds with other members of the species, some even adopting other species into their pods, learning unique and new hunting strategies, memorizing faces, you name it and they could probably do it. In fact, they are actually so smart that it's theorized they not only have their own language, but multiple languages across different pods, localities, and species. Hell, here's an orca saying hello in plain f***ing English. Hello! So these creatures certainly are intelligent enough to form such strategic attacks on human boats, but do we know exactly why they do it? Now right off the bat, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say the situation has already been blown way out of proportion thanks to the lack of context via social media. My feed is absolutely flooded with these videos of people cheering on orcas for attacking boats and claiming they're joining the conflict on their side, and their reason for doing so being that they're simply sick of our shit. Sick of the fishing industry causing planetary extinction due to bycatch and pollution, and sick of their own kind being ripped apart by boat propellers and other terrible devices of mankind, to the point of becoming endangered. As drastic and dystopian as it sounds, it's still a somewhat reasonable conclusion. Again, these cetaceans are freaking smart. They are absolutely capable of feeling complicated emotions and could have disdain for us. After all, we have given them plenty of reasons to do so. One researcher, Hernan Lopez Fernandez, hope I pronounced that right, cites an individual orca by the name of White Gladys, who lives in the area, that may have experienced some trauma with the boats in the past. Caught in a net, scraped by a propeller, something, and is now teaching her pod to attack boats because of that trauma. There are many researchers who aren't fully convinced though. These scientists keen on studying orca behavior cite playful curiosity as the motive for these attacks. Andrew Trites, director of the Marine Mammal Research Unit at the University of British Columbia, hope he's doing okay over there, what with all the wild fires, says that they're probably just messing around with each other without realizing the damage they're doing. In regards to the aforementioned White Gladys theory, Monica Wayland Shields, director of the Orca Behavior Institute, notes that killer whales are certainly capable of complex emotions, but we haven't seen anything like it anywhere else in the world. And while I'm certainly no professional, I'm inclined to agree with her. Because if orcas really were attacking our boats and yachts out of some trauma-fueled revenge feud on humanity, and we had a Planet of the Apes situation on our flippers, why would they have waited so long to start attacking? As of 2005, they have been protected under the Endangered Species Act, and even before that, the Marine Mammal Protection Act in 1972. Back in the 50s and 60s, they were hunted near to extinction due to whalers, and even for centuries before that, they were always under the threat of hunting by humans. You would think if they wanted to form a military and wage war against our species, they would have done it far, far sooner. The last theory I want to discuss is the possibility of the attacks being revenge for aquariums and theme parks like SeaWorld and the Miami Seaquarium. And, uh... No? As ridiculous as an idea this is, this is surprisingly one of the most common I've seen with these quirky Team Orca posts. They're seeking revenge for Talikum and Lolita. That's why they're attacking us. Now let me be clear. 
Of course, captive killer whales will probably always be a bad thing because they are massive animals with massive needs, both physical and psychological, that large corporations do not want to fulfill. The life that many captive cetaceans live seems truly hellish, and it's terrible. However, wild killer whales have no way of knowing about it as none of them have been released back into the wild and survived for very long. Read Keiko's story if you want to know what really happened to Free Willy. But yeah, it's just not possible. Why not, you stupid bastard? I could go on and on about what every single person might have to say about this situation, but at the end of the day, we're not orcas. And until science develops enough where we can fluently communicate with these animals and ask them ourselves, we really don't know for sure what the reasoning for these attacks are. But it's pretty safe to say this isn't some new century war between killer whales and humans. I'm leaning more towards this being just playful curiosity. It is definitely the most plausible out of all the theories out there. A lot of animals, especially animals of this caliber of intelligence, exhibit behaviors that we would consider cruel or sadistic, when in reality it's just in their nature. Some of the biggest examples of this are within this species. Here's an orca vaulting a sea lion 50 feet in the air for fun. We cannot apply human concepts like sadism and cruelty on animal behavior as it's in their nature to do so and they can't conceive ethics or understand what is right and what is wrong. So, yeah, gonna have to go with this all being a huge misunderstanding. Though it should be noted that at the moment, there's no real explanation as to why there's been such a huge spike in these attacks to begin with, as it's pretty unheard of throughout history for orcas to be so aggressively confrontational with humans. They've garnered a reputation of not really messing with us, as there's no record of any orca attacks on humans in the wild. Captivity, on the other hand, is a completely different story. But regardless of the motive these animals have, if you want to help keep both humans and orcas safe, Stop contributing to the environmental extinction event known as the fishing industry, and start holding large corporations accountable for the irreversible damage they are causing to our planet and their home. One of the best ways to do so is to go vegan, but we'll only talk about that when you boys are ready for it. Seeing all the people stating that they're joining the orca war on the side of the orcas, it would be a nice change in pace to see people actually do something about it. So what do you think? Are killer whales really starting to set their eyes on humans out of some complex revenge quest? Are they just playing around without realizing the danger they're putting people in? Or is it some other reason I haven't even mentioned in this video? Let me know in the comments, and while you're at it, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. As always, my name is Valentino, and thank you for watching. One day.